up everybody it is september 9th 2020 or sorry september 8th 2023 in big bear california and uh this is a nice day to do a little stroll through the village so i thought you guys might want to see what the village is looking like right now we are at the corner of big bear boulevard and pine knot Hope everyone's well. Um, something important because I know some people were interested in buying my white Subaru. I'm not going to be able to sell it. I made a huge, 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 huge mistake. For some reason, I thought it was going to be paid off this December. <laughs> and apparently, I have three more years worth of payments to make. So I'm not going to be able to get rid of it, unfortunately. which is quite sad. Because I was really hoping to put a few bucks in my pocket, help me pay some bills, because I am beyond stressed. I know we're all stressed on our bills, but like, it like, it brings me to my knees. It's not good. Anyway, welcome to the village, guys. This is going to be beautiful. That's right, this is like downtown. You know this area, buddy? I do. Okay, on the phone, it looks like there is a pipe down to put it around the lake. Is that actually a path, or is it just on the streets and everything? So there, there, there is, there is a, uh, it, it, it's called the Alpine Pedal Path. Um, it doesn't, necessarily go around the whole lake but there's a nice stretch on north shore that that you can take do you know this town at all okay yeah it's 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 not much of a especially on a bike you'll be done with it in a freaking heartbeat um what does cruise around then try to be safe what like okay we're just gonna cruise around. That street, those guys are driving off fast. Dude. Ruining my bike ride. Bro, right trust me, man. I've been here eight and a half years. I get it. Actually, I, what I do is I do uh, YouTube up here for all the tourists and stuff like that. Fairly well known. Um, so I'm trying to think of places I can send you to help you out. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, that pedal path doesn't really do you much. This is like the downtown stretch. This area. is it. This is it. This is this is this is our little pride and joy area here. This is our shops. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a solid little little place. Just always make sure you're keeping your eye on the road, though, because you do get a lot of people up here who bring their their uh, their driving experience from down the mountain up here, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, right on, man. You guys take care. Thank you. Have fun. Be safe. Okay. All right. So one of my favorite restaurants for really, I don't know, kind of three star plus is Peppercorn Grill. They offer fantastic steaks here. I've only had their steaks. So that's all I can really speak of. And the brewing company, they've got something really phenomenal here called Avocado Bombs. It's not a shot. It's an avocado cut open, topped with a bunch of stuff. Um, it's really, really, really good. But I don't really go into the bars much up here because I am a sober, sober person of society these days. Since I've lived here, I've, I've never had a drink nor will I because uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. The Boneyard I've heard is really, really good as well. They've got a great menu I've heard. When we come back around, we'll stop and check out their menu for you guys. 572 Social right here. Great, great restaurant. I've, I've eaten there once. Um, due to financial stuff, you know, I, I don't get to eat there often, but it is good. It gets lots of great, great reviews for a good breakfast place. 
am lunch. This place is called Teddy Bear Restaurant. That's a really good spot as well. Um, let's see here. I know one of our friends who's from up here, his name is Lee, Lee Shaver. This was his son's favorite burger at that restaurant right there. So, yeah. Obviously in this area, you're gonna get a lot of these shops that sell souvenirs and shirts and just memorabilia of Big Bear. Speaking of shirts and stuff like that, we have a bunch of merchandise coming soon, guys. Can you believe it? I mean a bunch. I can't, I can't believe it actually. I cannot believe it. So get ready. I think we're gonna launch it on the first snowstorm. So be prepared, because it's gonna be overwhelming. Like I'm, I'm so shocked, you guys. Again, it's one of you guys who's designing the website, getting all the merchandise and uh, just really taking care of it. I can't believe it. So, because it's not about money for me, he and I are doing an even 50-50 split. And again, he is one of you guys, which is really, really important. I want us to keep everything in our little family here. Here's Saucy Mama's Pizza. That place gets a lot of great, great, great reviews as well. I think you guys might enjoy that. We have a, a few good, good, good pizza places here, but my favorite is probably Village Pizza, although it's pretty hit and miss. Village Pizza, we will be walking by in about 10 minutes. Again, it is my favorite spot for pizza. But it's not, uh, from my experience, it, it's, it's not consistent. That's one of the biggest problems up here is the consistency of what you're picking up. I mean, sad to say, like McDonald's and Carl's Jr. and those places are as consistent as it gets up here. Another place, the Crepe Cafe. If you guys like some really good crepes, I'm telling you what, fantastic food and it's always the same it's not going to taste different it's not going to be shaped different it's going to look the same for you every single time all right here's the copper q they've got coffee and bagels and quiches and all that all that good stuff over there they've got a pretty good hot chocolate in here but for me it's a little too 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 uh too classy of a hot chocolate i like just the regular just cheap loads of hot chocolate inside the darn water, you know? All right, let's see. Again, more craft shops. A lot of cool spots to buy. A lot of your Big Bear, as I said, memorabilia. And we do appreciate people shopping here at all of our shops because this town relies on you guys. You got a Ben and Jerry's inside that, that building right there. And then right here is, is one of our infamous bars called the AV. I'm not a drinker, <laughs> but heard some stories. Heard some stories. When I used to work for the guitar player of the band called Yellow Card, in between all of our deliveries, he would have me take him to AV and sit and wait till our next delivery. As I was being his bodyguard, which is hilarious because he's way bigger than me, he wanted me to watch his back um, and just sit there and wait until he's done drinking. His name is Ben Harper. He was the original guitar player for Yellow Card. And right here, the Himalayan restaurant. Best Indian food up here, no question about it. There's a couple different places up here. This and Masala Craft, but I really like that one right here. The Himalayan a lot better. Brown Bear Gift Shop. Again, you're gonna find gift shop after gift shop after gift shop. And then let's see here. You got a frozen yogurt joint right here. Berry Bliss. I haven't been in here yet. I do like frozen yogurt. When it comes to me personally, I, as I 
tell you guys, I'm not I'm not a wealthy person, so I try to do the best I can to uh, to avoid shopping here in in the village. Unless I was a tourist, then it would be the main place I would want to be because it's shop central when it comes to Big Bear. But I am a penny pincher, trying to save as much money as I can. So, so this is one of our our newest souvenir shops. Really good size. Pergola, casual Italian dining. So again, one of the few restaurants I haven't eaten at yet, so I can't give you guys an honest review as much as I want to. Again, you're just going to be seeing lots of boutique shops and just little neat stores inside of, I think, this building right here. Yeah, inside that door right there, if you go upstairs, there's 20 little shops upstairs. We've done that video before, but we can definitely do more, more videos like that soon. But I just wanted to make sure we do a quick little regular stroll through our beautiful village just so you guys can kind of kind of see some of the shops pay attention to them so you can uh, come back and definitely enjoy enjoy your shopping experience it's really nice knowing what you're what you're walking into again just tons and tons of these types of just big bear memorabilia shops here's Thai food restaurant Royal Thai Bistro good good restaurant my favorite Thai food restaurant is called Thai Del Mar in Corona Del Mar, where I'm from. Okay, this is Masala Craft right here. This is the other Indian food restaurant. I'm, like I said, Himalayan is way, way, way better, but it is what it is. We got North Pole Sweets. Okay, so let's see here. The North Pole Sweet Shop. There's a there's a couple of those shops here in the village. Barrel 33, Wine and Tap. Of course, that's a restaurant that I don't stop by because I'm not much of a drinker, as you guys are well aware of. This place, Whiskey Dave's. Okay, so this is one of our 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 most renowned bars in town and this place used to actually be a hangout for a lot of MCs in layman's terms motorcycle clubs and I think many years ago the Hells Angels would, would stop by here and hang out and enjoy themselves I don't know about enjoy themselves but do whatever they do <laughs> Yeah, this, this is just such a beautiful place. Here's another sweet shop right here. I I believe these are all connected in terms of same, same ownership. I think it is. Hang on, let me go over here so we can get a better look. Yeah, the village, the village sweet shop. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, okay. Nothing else really too uh, too crazy or too, at least for me, memorable. The Crow's Nest, I've heard, is a really cute shop as well. And that's on the corner of Cottage Lane and uh, Village Lane, or Village Drive. Superhero, superhero toys and more. Okay, for the kids. This place right here, pretty awesome spot pretty darn awesome spot so I think the kids would have a fun time in there and the parents <laughs> have a fun time pulling out the wallet and the purse because I guarantee you the kids are gonna absolutely love it absolutely love it Frusion juice okay you know what so we're gonna step across here so we can get a better look at that place 
hang tight real quick. All right, so frozen juice and coffee bar. I've been here one time with my wife. It was pretty good. Um, believe it or not, in this village, we have like three or four different spots that actually make uh, smoothies and stuff. Stella Luna is, is, is one of them right here. That's a fairly new place up here. It hasn't been here too long, but they offer some, some, some nice little treats and such. We really do live in quite a beautiful place. We're gonna go down to the end here and uh, walk by the, uh, the new charging station for your, um, for your whatchamacallit, for your Teslas. This is my favorite hotel in town right here, or resort, Blue Green Resorts. In the lodging portion of this channel, or in the playlist portion of the channel, under lodging, you will find a very long video. We, we not only recorded the three room unit we stayed in, but the management took us on a tour of their presidential suites and stuff like that. This is another place where we have stayed, right here at the Holiday Inn. And we stayed in one of the corner rooms on the third floor. Um, it was, I think, 1,100 or 1,200 square feet, maybe a little bit more. Kind of a weird, weird design. There was such a huge, huge living room with like hardly any furniture to really fill it out. It just felt not lived in, really. It felt like they were about to put some some furniture in there, but this is this is the lodge at Big Bear Lake, a Holiday Inn resort. Okay, this place right here on the right is called Tropic Alley, and uh, I've never been a huge fan. Um, it's it's not my my kind of uh, scene, and. Uh, not my kind of food either. I'm into the really bad for you type fat foods and stuff like that. So unfortunately, this isn't for me, but they do have really quality stuff here. It gets amazing reviews. I mean, amazing reviews here. So just because I subjectively am not for certain places up here, I promise you, I know a lot of you would absolutely love it. So don't, don't not go somewhere just because I say so. That would be a huge, huge, huge mistake. Alright, so let's see here. You know what? You know what? We're actually gonna drive to the uh, to the Tesla spot at the very end. There's an Elks Lodge. I was an elk in Newport Beach when I was like 23 or 24 years old at the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge on uh, on Lido Island. This old German deli right across from the Holiday Inn uh, gets a lot of great, great reviews as well. I've had a couple sandwiches here. It's definitely worth worth a try, definitely worth your while. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Even though I'm over 10 years clean off of that alcohol, sometimes a nice drink would, would be good once in a while, but I know I don't have the ability to drink like a gentleman anymore. For me, one is too many and a thousand is not enough. Again, the Blue Green Resorts called the club at Big Bear Village. A blue-green vacations. In the winter time, this place is so pretty. So pretty with snow all over the place. When you're staying here, the kids can sled down this little hill inside and not have to worry about getting hit by cars. One of our biggest goals on this channel is to help you guys come up here to find something 
that will suit everybody in your family. Something that'll be safe for everyone, affordable if you need it to be affordable, more classy if you need it to be more classy. Unfortunately, we don't offer too much stuff in the higher end. This place is just about that though. This place is, it's, I mean, by far the nicest place that I've stayed at up here. Nothing really compares much to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of cross the street again, but we're gonna keep our eye on this side of the, this side of the road up here. Okay, so Oakside Restaurant, a phenomenal restaurant, phenomenal menu, basically mostly American style food. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive, and for kind of higher end type of food, probably the most affordable place you'll find in this area for the, as I said, for the classier type of a place, and um, yeah. Of course, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, to ask me because I do want to make sure that I give you guys all the information humanly possible so you can make the right decisions. By the way, right down this street on Cottage Lane, where that, that sign says ATM, that is called Murray's Bar. That's a very local spot, but probably by far the best bar food you could imagine in this whole entire town. And I mean by far, nothing else even comes close to that place. It's it's amazing. Like like I've I've been in there quite a few times to sing karaoke and to eat. So yeah, it's it's that type of a place. Love it. And then let's see here. We're gonna get run over because we're not paying attention here. Alright, we got a bunch of really good shops here on this side as well. Lemieux, Queen Bee Honey Shop. Hollywood Studios, that's kind of an interesting store, Hollywood Studios. There's a lot for you guys to check out, a lot to, to do that'll take up your time, um, especially for the parents who come here in the wintertime, bring your kids, and if the parents don't want to do any skiing or snowboarding, it's a really good place to let loose and just, as I said, just, just waste a bunch of time. Hopefully you'll be spending money because again, we rely on you guys coming up here and spending money. So please, please consider doing that for us because without you guys, none of us get to live here. We don't have a town. It's all tourism. This place is all tourism. Of course, we have our Jack in the Crack right here. And uh, this place is a sports bar. Um, haven't heard really anything about it. This used to be a venue for concerts and it was amazing it was so beautiful i don't know why it went under but it did it's quite a bummer because it is a very special place or it, at least it meant something to a lot of the locals here uh, but now again it's it's a sports bar it's kind of the last thing we need is to be filling people with more alcohol but it is what it is it's it's not about anything else but making money And I wish that we would have, uh, I don't know, I guess there really aren't many other options. You know, every town needs a, needs a good sports bar, I guess. But unfortunately, I'm just not a huge fan. But again, just because I'm not a big drinker or, or a big fan of those types of establishments doesn't mean that you shouldn't check it out because you might really, really enjoy it. I've never set my foot inside, nor will I. Um, because they have nothing to offer me. The only reason I've stepped into Murray's is because of the karaoke and the food. But believe it or not, when I get food from Murray's, most of the time I'm actually calling it in and picking it up. Yeah, beautiful woodcrafts, wood craftsman shops. As I said, guys, there's so much to do over here. Take a nice little walk, get a little bit of exercise. See all these beautiful cars, all these Teslas and whatnot. Someday we'll have a Tesla, you guys, I know we will. 
but it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. And uh, hopefully this channel will provide something like that for us. That would be great. That would be really great. Okay. So we used to have, well, here's a boutique area that's got a couple stores inside here. I don't know if you can really tell, but let me get you guys a better picture of this building. I guess it's fairly standard for up here. It's called Del Lago's Boutique. And uh, yeah, it's an elevated jewelry studio, you guys. What a play on words. <laughs> telling you what I'm grateful for all these shops up here they really do so much for the town this place draws so many people up here so thank each and every single one of you for your hard work I believe this place used to be a lobster sandwich place where it says bear noodle yeah I'm uh, again you guys I'm not really a healthy food type person uh, I like my burgers and fries and and burritos and pizza Probably why I'm not gonna see much more than 50 years on this earth, but that's okay. Live fast and die hard. Again, this so this place, uh, Social, 572 Social. Killer reviews, great restaurant. I told you guys we would stop by the Boneyard real quick to give you guys a little peek at their menu. One restaurant that, is, that we passed that I was planning on talking about is, uh, um, it's called the Fire Rock. And that's probably, as far as I'm concerned, the best burgers up here. The very best burgers up here. Well, let's see here, let's see here. Here is the, here is the menu for this place. If you guys wanna screenshot that and, and zoom in and scroll in, you're more than welcome to. I don't know how, how long I can, uh, I can be diligent in holding this camera up like this. But yeah, phenomenal food. A little bit of everything here. This place right here, uh, I think it's, uh, oh, what, what, what is it called? What is it called? El Hasalito. El Hasalito Grill. It's a Mexican joint. I've eaten there one time. A friend of mine, Greg, took me here many years ago. It's a really great, great food right there. But again, because it's located in the village, they got to put a premium on all, all those prices, which is just such a bummer. It's, it's, a, it's a tremendous bummer. One of my favorite hotels in this whole area, Robin Hood Resort. It spans this whole area right here and across the street. And this place, I've got a couple videos of different rooms that I've stayed in here. One of them was a two-story room on the building across the street there. If we zoom in, that where that white truck is upstairs there, it's a two-story room with a spiral staircase. Pretty cool stuff. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> I always loved how they did that there. But yeah, again, I got this place on my playlist. For lodging pretty much all the hotels in the village we we have stayed at and uh really hope it helps you guys out again to make a proper decision i don't like people coming up here and and just kind of rolling the dice with where they are staying i, I, I want you guys to make sure that you're actually going to be happy there because this place is very expensive for me it's not worth the risk to take to uh to not know so that's a big reason why I do all these videos for you guys is because I want you to see with your own eyes what's up but yeah let's get one more look at the village such a beautiful view here it is such a beautiful place all right
That restaurant right there, Laguna Grill. Let me zoom in. Right there, sorry. That place. Um, again, just because it's my opinion doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. Okay? My opinion is that I have the worst service, but this was a few years back. The food wasn't that good, but I'm the only person I know who has said that about the food there. So, and again, I'm not trying to make business owners upset. I'm trying to be honest with y'all and give you my honest opinion, because again, you guys work hard for your money. I don't want you wasting your, wasting your money up here. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you my personal opinions. So. Do with it what you may, but again, I don't suggest you use my subjective opinion as your end result. Give it a shot. Something super important that I've mentioned a lot is that this place is, in terms of our restaurants, super inconsistent. So you gotta be extra cautious um, where you're throwing your money up here. I'm telling you what, when these places are good, you guys, I'm telling you, they are so yummy. Wait, wait. So yummy, but I don't have have the money to be wasting to get something so inconsistent constantly. So that's why I'm glad my wife cooks a lot. It makes life a lot easier for me. So check it out. If you keep on walking down this street, Pine Knot, obviously the village is that way. If you keep walking down this street right here, the lake is right there. So you're super close to the lake. As a matter of fact, we'll hop in the car real quick and I'll show you guys how close we are to the lake. And I told you we were gonna go drive by the new electric charging station for the Teslas. So just bear with me a sec. Okay. All right, let's do this. Hold down my windows, it is hotter than hot can be in here. Current temperature in Big Bear is 79 degrees. This is gonna be the hottest day. This might be, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is gonna be the hottest day, the last hottest day. We're not gonna probably see 79 again. At least I'm thinking we're not. So right through here, you guys, that is the lake right there. Very awesome. spot got a bunch of people chilling like villains enjoying the beautiful scenery it really is a spectacular day and with all this extra water that our, our lake has I think we gained like 12 feet of water for the lake over this last season and it has been quite impactful and you know what we're actually gonna we're not gonna drive through we're just gonna turn right here And again, guys, be careful of all the drivers up here. You gotta be extra careful. As you just saw, like, they'll, they'll just turn. It's, uh, the rules of the road don't apply up here. <laughs> so just be careful, pay attention, and you should be fine. All right, so those of you who come up here fairly often, you, you know approximately where we're at. Coming up to the charging station. All right, let's see here. Okay, so it is left here. I don't know if it's hooked up yet, but this is my favorite pizza joint, Village Pizza. This is the end of the village. You can see the village sign right there. second we're just gonna again village pizza as consistent as I want for a, a, a pizza joint here you know what we're gonna just to show you guys here's our Tesla charging stations we've got four of them right here they are not ready yet but these are four four new spots that they picked right here And yeah, this is a great spot. Great spot. 
Again, the village is right here. We're on the other side of the village. That's where we ended up leaving, but. Yeah, cool, four of them. On the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Village Drive. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please hook me up with a like and a subscribe and leave comments. If you guys have any questions, you guys know that I, I respond to everyone in a pretty timely fashion. Usually it takes a few hours. I'm not usually lagging that long because you guys are important to me. I really enjoy you guys. Actually, I, I love you guys. And it's been a real pleasure having you guys in my life for so many years now. I can't believe this is our ninth season beginning for Big Bear Weather and More. It's just ridiculous. Never missed a single storm. I'm trying to do more and more to hook you guys up, to show you guys more. And the more that I'm getting known up here, the, the, more, the more businesses that I am getting familiar with, the more owners I'm getting familiar with. So hopefully we'll be able to team up with some people to hook you guys up even greater. Right now, the best thing I can do for you guys is just review this stuff for you and uh, let you guys make up your own minds. But that's about it. All right. So again, please like and subscribe. Help a brother out, I'd appreciate it. Love you guys very much. Don't forget, leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, I think the next video we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going back on the 2N10. It's the most beautiful forest service road. I did it at nighttime, in the middle of the night, so you guys couldn't see anything. But I want you guys to see it during the daytime. It's 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 something else. It's, it's a big reason to come up here just to go drive down that road. So anyway, I love you guys. Thanks again for everything, and we will talk to you later. Let me pull over for this fire truck real quick. Yeah, just be careful of the drivers up here, guys, no joke.